You will notice that this chandelier is shaking a little bit because, John, that was an earthquake. Welcome to Los Angeles. I'm standing in a doorway because I hear that's what you're supposed to do. So I guess that wasn't a big one. That chandelier sure still is moving, though. That's not, I guess that's not that impressive. It felt very impressive at the time. John, you know, the earth is supposed to be something you're able to trust. It's just stay in the same place. That's all I ask. Like, how much more could I ask from the earth? Okay, also supply us with an infinite amount of abundant fossil fuels. Do that too, Earth. Okay, the Earth does a lot for us and we don't do a lot for it, so I guess maybe every once in a while it's entitled to a little bit of shaking. But man, I bet that was like a one on the Richter scale and my heart's beating like crazy. John, this is James at War. I don't know if you remember James at War, but he made a stint of amazingly popular parody videos. So I decided that I would uh, inter interview him because there's YouTubers and he's the first one that I actually ran into randomly. So what's up? We had an earthquake earlier today and it made a button fall off my jacket. Uh, the earthquake made a button, you just shook. I shook and a button fell off my jacket. That's what I'm claiming happened anyway. Is it possible that your jacket just thought that it had too many buttons on it and the jacket? That is entirely possible. Just, the jacket thought it was too gaudy and just said, I'm out. Right, it's the thing I think it's much more appropriate now. Mm -hmm. You look like you're 12, <laughs> but I know that you have a lot of kids. So how did yeah. that work? I started when I was six and uh, nobody talked me about prophylactics, so five kids at the age of 18. <laughs> you have five kids? I have five kids. And you live in Alaska? Uh, right now, yeah, I do. Why do you live in Alaska? Uh, the Air Force sent me up there. By choice, I, I put it down to some place I'd like to go. Well, actually, uh, moving to Alaska, where there is nothing to do, in the wintertime at least, and my wife worked as a manager at a club, and they played the same songs over and over and over again. So she came home and she would say, I hate this song, I hate this song. So I decided to uh, write different words to the songs just for her. And uh, so I wrote a song called Pop Star and I wrote a song called Hey Harry Potter. And it was right at this time I discovered YouTube even existed. And so I thought, well, hey, I might as well just throw these on YouTube as well. And so I threw them on there and uh, both of them went viral, which completely took me by surprise. Um, and the rest is history. I just kept on writing songs, mostly for my wife. That's that's adorable. So, and then you kind of then you kind of stopped. Yeah, I I stopped because uh, of course America is uh, doing the war on terror, and uh, the Air Force, which is my uh, profession, uh, the up tempo just went way up, and I just got entirely too busy. And uh, if you if you are in the military and you don't want to be busy, don't get promoted. YouTube, unfortunately, had to take a back burner to uh, the profession of arms. Is that going to change? That is going to change. You're I'm, coming back? I'm coming back. Yeah. Uh, I'm getting out in August. <laughs> Not that I'm counting down the days or anything. Full-time writing, full-time videos, and all kinds of new exciting stuff. I cannot wait. So do you have any plans? I mean, there's new Harry Potter movies coming out. There's new Twilight movies out. Uh, Twilight. There's all kinds of awesome new games coming out. Um, and of course, that's kind of my niche, and that's that's the stuff I'm into. And uh, dorkify so, popular songs. That's right. I am the dork because a dork is somebody who's uh, kind of into everything, but not really good at anything. Okay. And that's that's me. Thank you for coming on our channel and talking about what's going on with James at War. And we're looking forward to having you back. Thank you for coming to VidCon. Thank you. I can't wait for it to start and uh, be over with, so I can make a video about it.